Jordan Woods and Kylie Jenner were spotted having dinner together over the weekend in Los Angeles. Now, this reunion comes just four years after the Tristan Thompson cheating scandal that took place now, which drastically impacted their friendship. They haven't been cool since. Uh, do y'all care about being, are y'all happy about seeing them reunited, Funky? What do you think about them? I'm highly disappointed. And the, the only reason why I just have to lay back and let this play out is because Jordan is young and I probably would have made the same type of error in my younger year going back to, you know, uh, 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 they say you never go back to what broke you, right? And the reason why this situation is extra complicated for me and why I could never go back to being friends with her, her or that family is because number one, the family was dishonest. Number two, the family came down on her with the entire weight of their empire and their media influence in an effort to ruin her reputation, put her in her place, and make Chloe look like the victim. And then now, all of a sudden, you know, some time goes by, and I'm just supposed to forget all of this happened. How does this work now? So now you're friends with Kendall, and let's just say she has a birthday party for one of the kids, and now you see Chris and you see Tristan over there and Chloe. How does this now work? So I, no, yes. I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think Jordan should have ever went back. All of us got some friends that we love, that we wish the friendship still would be, but we know we just can't. I know I got a couple. She should, just, she should leave them where they at, because if they did it once, they would do it again. Bongi 40 said, if Chloe can go back and have a baby, why can't their friendship be rekindled? Well, that was Chloe. Uh, Brienne said, let them live. Who cares? Both of them are grown. Al, what are your thoughts on this story? This was kind of weird for me. I, I, I don't have a problem with rekindling. Um, they had a strong friendship before this happened. She did, she did get a lot of uh, backlash for doing this from the Kardashians. But I think their friendship was, bef you know, was was pretty deep. It was pretty, pretty significant, right? They moved in together. They lived together. They collaborated on a couple of projects together. Um, and I think it's always a good thing to try to go back and and smooth things over with such a huge family that can make your life in entertainment pretty, um, pretty rough or tough. Like they tried, so. I don't know. That's I'm my point. Happy That's my out. point, though, that they did something that nasty. Go ahead, Claudia. Yeah. Tadisha Ashley said Jordan shouldn't have rekindled a friendship after the Kardashians humiliated her. And yes, she played a part in the scandal. However, Tristan wasn't blamed for any of it. I'm going to say this. For me, it would be a no for me. Um, I think there's mistakes. You know, when I deal with humans, it's like people can make mistakes and there's also character flaws. I think what Jordan did was more of a mistake, a lapse in judgment. We haven't heard that happening with her a lot. It was a one-time thing. What the Kardashians did and how they treated her was more like a character flaw that we see constantly more than once. That's where you lost me. If it was a one-time thing, this family, all of this never really happens. They never really, you know, discard people when they're done with them and make life hell for them. That's one thing. But this is a pattern, and I don't think it's something that just changes overnight. I'm sure Jordan was hurt for many years over this. And now you get you glowing up. You got a, a man that loves you. You look amazing. You lost weight. You a fly. You don't need them. Fuck that. You don't need to go back. Mm -hmm. Especially like I said, there's mistakes and there's pet personality flaws. And I think that family, you know, that method, what they did, that was that was pretty flawed. I think. And Claudia, you can make it right in this situation. The way you would make this right, y'all would have to use that same platform to vindicate me. Yeah, you have to. In public. If, if they got on that show and was like. Just one scene. Oh, my God, we were so wrong the way we treated Jordan. You know, we really should have given that smoke. I want to see a coffee shop scene between Jordan and Chloe with Chloe apologizing. Even if it's I was just so in love, Jordan, I couldn't see past the haze he had me in. But I apologize to what happened to you. I, they would have to fix it. Then we could rekindle. But just this blind, you, you're not going to apologize to me behind closed doors when you sprayed me in public. No, ma'am. You got to keep that same exact energy. Public, public, private, private. Uh, Jolanda Mill said they see Jordan got that ring that they can't get. Ooh. Mm. All right. And well, don't Jordan let none of them holes round your man, okay? Because <laughs> <laughs> he. <laughs> All right, y'all. After Wasn't the two-day search. Around their man? <laughs> huh? Wasn't she around one of their men? Yeah, but she ain't got no history of taking people men. They do. So she, uh, don't, don't, don't you have shit at your house. You meet that whole cheesecake factory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>